Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. Today is Saturday, and this is proper 27 of Ordinary Time. Let's pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to His voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore Him. Psalm 87 On the holy mountain stands the city He has founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion, more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of our God. I count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold Philistia, Tyre, and Ethiopia. In Zion were they born. Of Zion it shall be said, everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record as he enrolls the peoples. These also were born there. The singers and the dancers will say, All my fresh springs are in you. Psalm 90 Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age you were God. You turn us back to the dust and say, Go back, O child of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream. We fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes. In the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our iniquities you have set before you, and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The span of our life is seventy years, perhaps in strength even eighty. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow. For they pass away quickly, and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath? Who lightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. 
Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Make us glad by the measure of the days that you afflicted us and the years in which we suffered adversity. Show your servants your works and your splendor to their children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper our handiwork. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 Maccabees, beginning with the second chapter, the first verse. In those days Mattathias, son of John, son of Simeon, a priest of the clan of Joreb, moved from Jerusalem and settled in Modian. He had five sons, John surnamed Gadai, Simon called Thassai, Judas called Maccabeus, Eleazar called Averin, and Jonathan called Aphus. He saw the blasphemies being committed in Judah and Jerusalem and said, Alas, why was I born to see this, the ruin of my people, the ruin of the holy city? The people sat idle there when it was given over to the enemy, the sanctuary given over to strangers. Her temple has become like a person without honor. Her glorious vessels have been carried into exile. Her infants have been killed in her streets, her youths by the sword of the foe. What nation has not inherited her palaces and has not seized her spoils? All her adornment has been taken away. No longer free, she has become a slave. And see, our holy place, our beauty, and our glory have been laid waste. The nations have profaned them. Why should we live any longer? The Mattathias and his sons tore their clothes, put on sackcloth, and mourned greatly. The king's officers who were enforcing the apostasy came to the town of Modian to make them offer sacrifice. Many from Israel came to them, and Mattathias and his sons were assembled. Then the king's officers spoke to Mattathias as follows, You are a leader, honored and great in this town, and supported by sons and brothers. Now be the first to come and do what the king commands, as all the nations and the people of Judah and those who are left in Jerusalem have done. Then you and your sons will be numbered among the friends of the king, and you and your sons will be honored with silver and gold and many gifts. But Mattathias answered and said in a loud voice, Even if all the nations that live under the rule of the king obey him and have chosen to obey his commandments, every one of them abandoning the religion of their ancestors, I and my sons and my brothers will continue to live by the covenant of our ancestors. Far be it from us to desert the law and the ordinances. We will not obey the king's words by turning aside from our religion to the right hand or to the left. When he had finished speaking these words, a Jew came forward in the sight of all to offer sacrifice on the altar of Modian, according to the king's command. When Mattathias saw it, he burned with zeal, and his heart was stirred. He gave vent to righteous anger. He ran and slaughtered him on the altar. At the same time, he killed the king's officer who was forcing them to sacrifice, and he tore down the altar. Thus he burned with zeal for the law just as Phineas did against Zimri, son of Salu. Then Mattathias cried out in the town with a loud voice, saying, Let everyone who is zealous for the law and supports the covenant come out with me. Then he and his sons fled to the hills and left all that they had in the town. A reading from the book of Revelation, beginning with the 20th chapter, the first verse. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years and threw him into the pit, and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were ended. After that he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or on their hands. 
They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power. But they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us and lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Take a moment of silence at this time to reflect and pray for others. O God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that he might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life, Grant that having this hope we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, 
that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Christ God, who art worshipped and glorified at every place and time, who art long-suffering, most merciful and compassionate, who lovest the righteous and art merciful to sinners, who callest all to salvation with the promise of good things to come. Receive, Lord, the prayers we now offer and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, cleanse our bodies, correct our thoughts, Purify our minds and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and illness. Surround us with thy holy angels, that guarded and instructed by their forces, we may reach unity of faith and the understanding of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today on Common Prayer Daily. Visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com to follow along with our liturgy and access additional resources. If you enjoy this podcast, consider leading us a rating or review on Apple iTunes and also possibly becoming a patron of our podcast at patreon.com slash common prayer daily. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God.